right? Look at this. I'm just tearing up. <laughs> A little bit chance of plans. We're going to the Moravi uh, evacuation center. Uh, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna film there because what what help is that gonna do for the people? So I'm just gonna go there, see how it is, and uh, maybe say hi or hi or something to some of the people. But I just want to check it out. But I'm not gonna film the people. I think. So we arrived at the shelter, and as you can see, it's just clothes everywhere, and. Our guide over here, he went this side to get a permission for us to let us in and take a look. You know, we're not gonna be interviewing anybody, we're just gonna take a look and see how the conditions are. And just let everything sink in, and, you know, think about what really happened for these people because this is obviously um, very sad and tragic for these people and what they have to go through. All right, let's go. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Finn. I'm, I'm Asnaini Makabando. Okay. All around president of the IDP. Nice to meet you. Am I allowed to film? Yes, sure. It's you okay? So again, let's go okay. inside. So. Thank you. Good evening. Wow. Look at this. Is this uh, just someone's house? This is all, all occupied by the uh, from zero, ground, ground zero. Yes, that's my from around the city. How many people? Seven hundred eighteen. Wow, just yeah. in this small area. Yeah, so small. You hear that, guys? Seven hundred eighty people yeah. in this tiny area. Nineteen families living here in the refugee center. So you have two hundred. And then we have an adapted. Uh huh. What adapted? Uh, adapted means no dafap, but they're staying inside the. Uh, no. They're staying here in the refugee center. Okay. Good evening. Sorry? Yeah, it's Mayung Gabi. Mayung Gabi. Mayung Gabi. Mayung Gabi. I'm, uh, I'm just tearing up. <laughs> the reason I'm tearing up now is just like when you're here, you think about these people, what they have to go through. All these children here. He has a very big heart. Yeah. So it's been all her life. Yeah. Here, three months. Yeah. Wow. Hello there. taking credit for any of this here and they they're blessing you without even knowing who I am you know I'm not doing anything good for these people it's just them only seeing me and you know, it really touches you and, and you know what they've gone through and they lost their homes their livelihoods it's gone they have to suffer now they're here and this just brings up uh, a lot of emotions to you but, uh, 
I guess we're gonna continue to see this place. Hello. Goodbye. Hey, Joe. Here we go. This is it. Almost 1,000 people here. Unbelievable. And I saw a video from Kulas when he came here the first time, like soon after it. And it did look like this. It was completely empty. But uh, now everything is. Well, you can see they've been spending a lot of time here. So uh, the Iligan city has almost tripled in population since the war broke out. But people are starting to migrate back, you know, it's almost over and safety is back on. And, you know, I know this sounds scary to go to Mindanao water, but it's not. It's, look at how beautiful these kids are and, you know, everyone is really happy here. It's just few people that destroy all that. So, don't let that scare you. It's a very, very beautiful place and after spending uh, five days here, you know, I'm definitely coming back. Mindanao is beautiful. Alright guys, I think that's gonna be it for the vlog and uh, big things coming up. Subscribe if you haven't to this channel and uh, check out the link below for the charity we're doing for Christmas and the girls, the 24 girls. We're gonna build a, we're gonna build a school for them. So check it out guys and see you for until next time. Peace out. I want to end it off by saying no matter how hard the people of the Philippines have it, especially the ones in Marave, they always bring out the best of the Philippines, which is smiles and happiness. They've started to migrate back to Marave, and soon enough things will get back to normal. I also want to thank the people of Mindanao to invite me on this five-day trip, Sherlyn to invite me to Magsaysay, Bo for all the underwater footage and the funny jokes, all the mayors, which are not men in suits, they are Filipinos. Last but not least, I want to thank the regional director, May, for her hospitality and showing me around Cagayan, Iligan, and Bukidnon. Mindanao is an extremely beautiful place, and I'll be back there very soon. Yeah.